Hello! I'm gonna use the rumble feature. Reading the game disc. More like reading the game disc. That's what it says. I'm stupid. I'm not stupid. Last time on the Legend of Link Ocarina of Horse... Oh, right, we spawn here every time. Last time on this... We... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get something done here while we're here. Last time, we got a bottle after I failed to catch a bunch of chickens like 500 times. Um, this time we're gonna go to the Kokiri Lost Woods. We're gonna climb up here. We're gonna climb up these roots. Gonna go to America. Gonna fight the communists. You... Uh, excuse me. You know why? It's because we believe in freedom. And what is good. And this is stupid. Not this game, mind you. Follow the music, by the way. Line it up just the right and get three bullseyes. And then this guy shows up out of nowhere and he's like, Man, you're pretty cool. I'm gonna give you a patch for the nuts. That didn't sound right, but I do not care. Cool! You're great! You scored three perfect bull's eyes! I have to give a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. Yep. And then he just... Okay, three, first things. First things, just right off. How does, how does being accurate with a slingshot equate to being a wonderful person? Second off, this came from his throat. That will extend our magazines. Son of a bitch, it's the owl! Hey, over here, Hoot Hoot Link. Good to see you again. Listen to this, Hoot Hoot. After going through the last... Blah, 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 you should listen to that tune, too. Hoo Hoo Hoot! Do you want to hear what I said again? Yes! If you are courageous, you will make it through the forest just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest, Hoot Hoot! Give a hoot! Don't pollute! Basically, he said, listen to your ears, because it'll tell you the way to go. This is the one where I go straight, right? I like things they said do, gonna go to America. That's not the way. Going here, going there, going right. I am now going to play, so yeah. Little on the holy crap, it's a wolf. Hello there, good sir or madam. <laughs> I did it for America! Hey, hey, attack me. Attack me. Attack me, wolf. Attack me. Attack me. Attack me. Attack me. Hey, wolf. Attack me. I have murdered you. And that was the... Oh, he dropped a red rope. Okay, I guess it was a nut. Whatever. So up here we go into weird mode here, where we get to look all up like this. And these are mad scrubs, which means that they're completely insane. This means, of course, that you don't, you don't just reflect their nuts back at them and then they go, "Oh, master, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry that my nuts." I'm not gonna continue that statement. Point is, you murder these guys. I got five rupees. Don't shoot your nuts at me. Also, right here, a lot harder when you're an adult. I mean, what what are you what are you talking about? You don't travel through time in this game. It's not like this game hasn't been out for over nine thousand years, and there's no possible way that I could give any of you spoilers. It's not gonna happen. Shut up, Navi. Here we are. The forest equator, or something. You see that ledge up there? That's another ledge. That's like another area that looks like there might be something behind there that I've never gone to. And that is another thing that fills me with the thoughts of adventure. Because it looks like you can go there. So, you know, you think, oh, man, I want to go there. What's up there? What is? But you can't. I've been waiting for you, Link. This is the sacred forest meadow. It's my secret place. I fi is that why there are all the Deku scrubs here? It's not that secret. 
You're just stupid. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. Oh, yeah. I bet it's because of the giant entrance to something behind you. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Sure. Ock, try to follow along with the melody I will play. Are you ready? Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. So now we get to play the song. She, she plays it all slow like. Yeah, I like how she teaches us the. She just teaches us how to go do do do, and from that we're able to infer do 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 the entire thing. When you want to hear my voice play Saria song, you can talk to me anytime. That's how you learn Saria song. You play Saria song with Saria. Yeah, you've learned Saria's song. Okay, seriously though, this is the catchiest video game tune ever. Ever! The scrubs are dead. Always they are. I wonder, do you get the hard piece for playing with the one guy when you're a kid or when you're an adult? God, I can't remember. I mean, you're not an adult! Whatever, I don't even care. It's the Ocarina of Time. You travel through time. You go to the past, you go to the future, you go to now. Going to a place. Go to the. God! Ooh hoo! Did you learn an ocarina song from Saria? That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like this that you can learn in Hyrule. Do you want to hear what I said again? No. Melodies you have learned will be recorded on the quest status subscreen. You should memorize those melodies. Again, with that, um, just that immersion breaking text. Like you're talking to this guy and he's all, Oh, you may, you need to learn new songs to help in your quest. But if you forget what the songs are, you can check them on your quest item subscreen. Okay, now that we have the magical tune, there's this guy here. He's the main antagonist. I mean, not in this game. There are leaves and screen. You know Saria's song? We should be friends. Here, take this. You didn't hand me anything. I picked this up out of the air. That's a piece of heart. Pieces of heart are good. They give you life. Four pieces equals one heart. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're done in the Kokere Forest. We can now progress to America. Okay, really though. The themes in this game, all of like the town themes are just so memorable. All of the music in this game is memorable. Except... Except for maybe the shadow and the water temple themes, because I can't remember what they sound like off the top of my head. Just about everything else? Just fine. You know? Uh, where are we going? Right, we're going to... Smooze Mountain! Nothing can stop the smooze! I can't remember what's that. what that's from. I can't remember what's that from. I'm a Pikachu. Pikachu. I chose you. Use a thunder kick. Pika, Pika! Psst. I swear to God, sometimes it sounds like I have ADHD. Let's do a pro flip. Hawoosh! That's not how you pro flip. No. It's not how you pro for lip link. Pro for lip. Go up here. Need to go up to Death Mountain. All right. By the way, also shield. Oh right, I have bottles. I should have gotten the Fay Ray. Should have gotten the Fay Ray. By the way, you can uh, collect all the chickens for what's her face again. She gives you rupees. I don't remember the exact number of rupees you get. I think it was like twenty. 
it's not really that worth it. But, uh, whatevs. Whatevs, son. Okay, so in order to sell the mask, you put on the mask, and you go up and you talk to the guy. <laughs> Do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hayro? Oh, is that a key something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite. That key something mask, if you don't mind. Will you sell it to me? Yes. My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. Wahaha. You sold the 10 rupee mask for 15 rupees. You earned a little profit. Go to the mask shop and pay back the mask price of 10 rupees! And now this guy will infinite, just indefinitely wear that mask. I'll do it later. Let's continue up Death Mountain before we go back selling any masks and paying back any dues. These are Tektites. We saw them in um, Link to the Past. They hopped around on top of the mountain. Guess what they do in this game? They hop around on top of the mountain. That's what they do. It's their thing. They just they just hop and they hop. And they hop your house down. You know, you feel, you tell a Tektite that it's it should stop hopping and it just says, Man, I don't feel like stopping hopping. And then he just hops and he stabs you in the kidneys. That's what they do. By the way, this guy, I can never remember how he rolls. I remember one time, there was this one time when I was running up here and he rolled into me and I died. And I kept having that happen to me. I kept having him roll into me and he kept killing me. And that just kept happening. So, here's the spiritual stone of fire. What? Hey! It's dangerous for a little kid like you to come out here. You might fall down. If I'm not mistaken, you came out here to eat the red stone? Well, too bad it's not here. What? That's not why you're here? You're looking for a spiritual stone? You must mean that delicious looking red stone that was once displayed here. I was so hungry that I thought it would be okay to just give a one tiny little look, so I snuck here, but it was already gone. I think Big Brother took it away. He always says that everyone is after the red stone. And Big Brother has shut himself up in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta go talk to Big Brother. He shut himself up downstairs, so we gotta... Royal Family Messenger. Remember how Impa said that Zelda's lullaby would connect us to the Royal Family or some crap? Well, you gotta do that. You gotta make purple. You gotta make purple. You gotta make purple everywhere. By the way, I'm just throwing this out here, but I have fruitcake. Can't beat fruitcake. It's the most delicious thing in all the land. I know all of you think I'm on crack or something. Break this pot! Break! Okay, all it is is a stick. I could have sworn there was 20 rupees in here. Whatever. Hello? What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much stuff? Why do you people? Mido is all like, Oh, something about Mido, the, the biggest guy. You just... whatever. Uh, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dodongo's cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. What if I play you some funky tunes? There. Playing funky tunes gonna do a thing. 
Yo, this isn't quite the dubstep that you people like for some reason, but this guy likes it. It's like he's just done a bunch of crack. And now this is his happy dance. Oh! Oh, oh! Come on! Come on! Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hot! What a hot beat! I'm not even playing the song anymore. Whoa! Yeah! Yes! Hey, what a nice tune! Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. I am the big boss of the Gurans. Is there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire, too? The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. It must not be that hidden if you go around telling people about it. Well, I mean, I suppose it's... That'd be a secret treasure. But hold on, I'm not gonna give you to you that easily if you want it so badly. Why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want. Anything. Even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fella like you can pick up a bomb flower using A. You got the Goron's bracelet. I always thought that this looked more like a crown because of the size. Anyway, so now you can see on the character model, Link has a little bracelet. He's a little friendship bracelet. Little friendship. Little friendship bracelet. Friendship. Friendship is pretty cool. Those are bomb flowers. You can't pick them up on the wall. They have to be on the floor. They have to be on the floor. So you gotta go up the stairs. You gotta go up the stairs, that's a bomb flower. You gotta go up the stairs. You gotta go up the stairs. Go on upstairs. Um I think I can do this now. Maybe no, nope, too far away. Whatever. I guess I don't get to open up the shortcut, by the way. Uh, spoilers, there's a shortcut. There are shortcuts from the Lost Woods to both this city and a river that we haven't gone to yet, but that's that's not important. It's not even an important river. So, basically, right, Chow, you need to grab that and you need to throw it. I remember one time I had a really hard time throwing that. I just, I couldn't get it to land right. So now you do that, and then you roll. And then you can survive that somehow. I don't even know. I don't even know. There's a gold skeletal in that patch right there. You need to open up the bugs. So this is a cave. It's a pretty cool cave. If I do say so myself. Uh, but you got a wall here, and that I guess that's all there is to the cave. Or I'm just a terrible, terrible liar. This is Dodongo's Cavern, which is a magical cavern. It's full of crack. Oh, wait, I was, exit. I was turned around. I'm sorry, I was looking at my fruitcake. I'm going to have another bite of the fruitcake card. It looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step. Thank you, Navi. You bastard. I will rape your family. So one of these is right. By the way, those are Gordos or whatever they're called. I don't know. In this box is something. Something magical. Something only friends can have. A map. Ah, what else is there? There is also, there's another thing over here, which we can get. Oh god, there's, hey, you son of a bitch. 
Um, if you reflect that guy's nuts back at him, that doesn't sound right. If you reflect that guy's nuts back at him, he will sell you shield. He will sell you a Deku shield, specifically. You know, because you can uh, burn your Deku shield up. Oh, pro. I don't know what you're thinking. No, you can't actually get up there yet. You're too short. You can't climb up there. You're, you're too short. I, that's... God, why can't I find what I need to find? Why can't I find it? I gotta find it. Hello, don't shoot lasers at me. What did I just say? <laughs> I like how it goes... Doo -doo -doo -doo, on the thing that doesn't actually get me anywhere. These are larval dodongos, by the way. Don't hit them. As they will explode. See? Explode. Right here, you have an Armo statue, but it's not actually alive, so you don't have to worry about anything. You just pull it and push it and pull it and push it. I think these have a higher push frequency than regular blocks. Because when you're pushing them, it's like... Whereas when you're pushing regular blocks, it sounds like... Okay, am, am, what am, am what I saying make any sense? Next time on Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Majora's Mask, we dance. 